A very important topic to understand when it comes to signals is the difference between single-ended and differential. So today we're going to talk about what is the difference between single-ended and differential signals. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. Reach out to us at this email address here at themotioncontrolshow.com and let's see what we can learn. Single-ended signals uh, have um, could be analog or digital and it's just going to have one single, one wire of where that signal goes. The problem is, is that if it sees any electrical signal or picks up on any electrical noise, it can see a spike like this or a spike here. Uh, so this one is going to take away this pulse and this one here is going to add a pulse. So that's a bit of a problem. So with a differential signal though, we get two wires, two signals going, and one is going to be the opposite of the other. So here we have a positive square wave, here we have a negative square wave. So if we see any electric noise, uh, it's going to look the same on both of those. These two wires are typically wound around each other in a pair, so you'll see the wires being twisted around them. They're called a twisted pair. So if it picks up a noise on one, it's going to pick up noise on the other, and it's going to look the same. So then you have a channel A and an A naught being the opposite. So then when the A naught is inverted, that electrical noise is also inverted, and then they can be compared. So when it's run through a comparator, you get one clean signal. Therefore, the differential is much more immune to electrical noise than a single-ended. Of course, it probably is going to cost a little bit more, right, in the design. There's another wire in the cable. There's more processing. So now you have a processor you didn't have before. So let's take a look at an example here where there is a controller with a line driver going through the twisted pair I talked about. And here's the drive with the, uh, with the receiver. So this is differential. You see the line driver and you see the line receiver. The problem comes when people don't understand which they're going to have. Uh, so maybe you're using a servo driver and you decide to go with a less expensive controller that doesn't have this line driver. So the controller has a single-ended output that just simply pulls this, uh, this line to ground. Um, so now how are you going to do that? So here there's a forward and reverse signals. So we're going to have a forward and reverse signals, but each one is single-ended. So if we look at that same circuitry, in the case of this drive, this can be pulled up to 24 volts here. That's a 24 volt power supply, can be pulled up. Therefore, it's just pulled to ground at the controller. It's single-ended. It's going to be a little more prone to electrical noise, but it can work as long as you don't have that electrical noise. Um, not all drives, though, can actually be pulled to single-ended in that same way. So here's another drive that has a, a differential comparator. Uh, it also has the same, same sort of thing on the analog command input, plus or minus 10 volts. This is a step and direction, or just an encoder input. But this can't be pulled up with the current flowing through to a single-ended uh, ground the same way that other one can. Um, just in case you think that this is just one manufacturer's way of doing it, if we look at another manufacturer with a same sort of differential input, they show it's an RS-422 transceiver. RS-422 is a differential standard that is used. You might recognize it's, it sounds very similar to RS-485. They're very much related. Um, and here is the command input from another manufacturer as well. You can see that there's a differential input. It has some circuitry around it. Again, this is not at all easy or even possible to adapt to a single-ended uh, input. It may be possible. That is not at all easy. Uh, it could have to be done with uh, voltage dividers and stuff outside of it. Um, I'm not even sure what that would look like at this point. It doesn't matter because it becomes messy, becomes something you don't want to deal with, and it would still be uh, very prone to electrical noise. So that is the difference between single-ended and differential signals. I'm Corey Foster of Valen Corporation. Reach out to us if you need help. We're always happy to help.